Hi, this is John for bestwindowsmobileapps.com and what you just saw was a demonstration of the metronome for Panoramic Guitar Suite version 1.3. Panoramic Guitar Suite uh, offers you three basic modes. You have your chords, your tuner, and your metronome along with several options for those features. Chords, pretty much self-explanatory. You have your uh, chord at the top, major, minor, etc., and different positions that you can play the chord on the neck. For example, here we can select from A to G sharp. Let's do D sharp. So this is what uh, one way of playing D sharp would be on the fretboard. Uh, this is showing it at the 11th fret, as indicated on the side here. And if we tap at the fret, it'll give us an example of what it sounds like when we play it. Or we can strum across the fretboard or tap the individual notes. So, nice feature there on our flamed fretboard. Here's our tuner. Earlier, and I was doing this on an acoustic guitar, I was having a little trouble with the tuner. We'll try it again here. Uh, we have what's indicating our pitch at the top, signal quality, and then a nice visual of the frequency coming through. So I'm going to play what should be an E here. Okay, it's showing it's a little flat. So what I'm doing now is just I just rotated the tuner up a little bit to make it a little more sharp. Now that should be coming through loud and clear that note and yet no signal quality uh, and I'm having trouble even having it pick up the note. I'll move my guitar all the way up. You'll even see it in the frame of the camera here and play the E again. It's saying it's an A. Um, so I don't know what's going on there. If it doesn't like my guitar or the microphone on my phone maybe isn't sufficient uh, to pick up the sound. I don't know. Um, and no, I will not attempt to sing for you a note, although it did seem to work pretty well when I did that. Metronome, you saw that earlier. Um, this is nice because you can tap the tempo. Let's say you're trying to indicate to a drummer what tempo you want to play at, and you don't know how many beats per minute that is, or uh, you're writing down sheet music and you want to know how to indicate it. This is a great resource for that, absolutely. So. Um, here, I'll tap a tempo and we'll see what we get here. Kind of a one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Wow, I guess that was exactly what I had before. I'll try going a little faster. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, fifty-five beats per minute. You can change the tempo in real time, you can change the meter, you can even change the sound of the metronome along with a lot of other features here in the menu. Under options. So, oh I didn't know we could change the different fretboards. Sweet! I'm going for Sonic Blue, or no, how about Rebel? Oh yeah. Let's see what that looks like. Oh yeah, that's pretty sweet. I didn't even know you could do that until just right now, so I do like the flames though. Okay, I have to see what one more looks like. I'm, I apologize right now for my curiosity, but I think everybody's wondering what pink bubbles looks like. And now you know. Pink bubbles, that's right. Also on the options, we can indicate our frets by numbers, uh, Roman numerals, 
or not. You can uh, have the guitar set up to show you in the left-handed manner uh, what language you want. Espanol, Francais, and so on. What is this? Uh, what? Volume. What instrument you want. It's not only a guitar tuner. It could be a bass guitar tuner. Or for those of you playing the popular lute. Lots of lute players. Uh, well, maybe not. But you could tune a lute. Or a banjo. Or as they say it in Hawaii, an ukulele. Don't go to Hawaii and pronounce it ukulele. They hate that. But here's what the ukulele would look like. Playing a D11. So, on the pink bubble fretboard, no less. That's right. And I promised that I would show you, um, and you know, uh, in the States here, we do have it at a 441 frequency. There are two other options there. I'm gonna stick with that. Uh, maybe my problem with the tuner is the tuner input cutoff, which is, I'm assuming, the sensitivity of the program to the signal that's going in here through the through the sound waves to the microphone uh, maybe I have it too much maybe I have it too little we can try just out of curiosity here putting it at three percent and while we're there I will change the metronome to wood I did have it on standard so we'll save that let's go to tuner let's see if it works any better well, it's picking up on my B, which is a little sharp. I promised I wouldn't do that, but I, I, I'm sorry I couldn't help it. Here's an E, or uh, at least I think it'll show an E. Hmm. It sure likes my voice, but uh, which is odd, because most people don't. So that seems to have been an improvement to change the uh, the value for that feature there. So maybe that's all I needed to do. It seems to be working pretty well now. So if you do try out this program, that would be one adjustment you want to look into. But uh, overall, pretty solid program, I would say. You know, um, I like that you can uh, customize it a little bit with your fretboard, different types of instruments. Uh, one feature that would be nice that I, I do not believe this program has, I would like to plug in my, maybe pop in my own notes here on the fretboard and have it tell me what it is. Like say for example, if I tapped right here on the fourth fret and move that up, uh, I believe that would be one step to E, that it would show me that down here, uh, which it doesn't seem to do. So, in other words, if I said, well, what if I played, what, what's, what's the note where there's a note on the first fret here, on the third string, and then one note here fretted on the fifth string, uh, th uh, third fret, what note, what chord is that? Um, I think that would be a great feature to be added on here if that was possible. So, um, but other than that, I think all in all, it's a very solid program. It's kind of fun. I think it's great to be able to have a... Uh, tuner in your pocket at all times. Of course, I have my phone with me. I don't always have my tuner with me, and there's definitely been times when I would like to have that with me. Uh, I think it would be nice to have a metronome with me if I want to practice to help me keep in time. Uh, so, all in all, uh, I'd say a pretty good program, especially uh, for $299 US. So, thanks for watching. This is John for bestwindowsmobileapps.com.